Ladies and gentlemen, all I'm offering is a chill, nothing more. Hello and welcome to Wide Glamazon Motivation. I am your motivator, Vivian Node. Today, I'm going to talk to you about that you are God. For many months, I have been telling you that you are God, you are God, you are God. And many of you actually, those who know me already, they actually feel that I'm a little bit crazy or that I've lost my mind. But wow. At the end of the day, we will know who is right and who have lost their mind and the one that are being themselves or that are saying the truth. Now, I'm not here to prove myself or to justify if I'm correct or not. But what I give you is what the God that is in me is telling me, is saying to all of you. That's exactly what I'm giving to you. I give it to you raw, uncut. You know, so it's not edited. It's not scripted. It comes as it is. Whenever it, ha it comes, I give it as it comes, as I received it. So now, what it means to be God? This means that you are the sole authority in your life. Okay? You decide what happened to you. You decide your reality. Your reality, you are the one creating it. It's not people around you, it's not your government, it's not your friends, it's not your mother, your father, or your siblings. It's not your business associates or your neighbors or your co uh, colleagues at work. Nobody is in charge of your reality but yourself. You are the sole God of your own universe. Everything that happens around you and inside you is all coming from within you, not from outside. All of them is happening simultaneously inside you. So basically, you are the God of your world. That's what God is trying to tell all of you. It's not just that you are made in his image or that, he's, that he, he, he is inside you. That makes you God or make you one with him. That's not the only thing that he, God is trying to tell you when he tells you that you're God. What he's trying to tell you is that you determine what will happen to you. You are in charge of yourself. When you hear that... You, my body is the vessel of the Most High God, and I should keep it holy. Your body is the vessel of the Most High God, and I should keep it holy. This is the truth, and it is exactly what it means. Exactly what it says. Your body is the vessel of the Most High God. Your body is the vessel of God. You are the God, and your body is that vessel. So, for that reason, you must keep it holy. <coughs> Keeping it holy means. Being careful of what you put into your body, what you feed yourself, the mental diet, the things you get from the external sources, and feed your mind. You must be very wary and careful. And make sure that you feed yourself clean, truth. Do not feed yourself lies. Do not feed yourself fears. Do not try to please everybody else and displease yourself. Don't try to be like other people. Don't limit yourself. Don't settle. Be yourself. And take in only what you want to take in. Good stuff. Think of good things about yourself. Talk good about yourself. Feel good about yourself. Eat good. Do good. At all times. Always say the truth. Behave wisely. And do things that benefit you. And be of service to others. Always think of it that way. Ask yourself, what can I do to serve? How do I help? This is what you should always think about. How do I help myself? How do I help others? How do I adjust and change this world? How do I bring increase into my life and into the life of others? Ask yourself this question. Now that I know that I'm God. Now that I know that I'm one with God, the creator. Now that I know that I'm part of this whole universe and I'm actually this whole universe. Now that I know that I'm the one manifesting my reality, how do I make sure that the reality I manifest is the reality I want? The reality I manifest is the reality that favors me. The reality that I manifest is the reality that takes me to my destination. That's what you should ask yourself. You should work hard, do everything by all means necessary to 
become who you are meant to be on earth. That means to become God. That's why we come. We come to the earth planet to become God. We come here to become happy. We come here to manifest that which we are already from the day of creation, from the day of manifestation. We are already something. We are already great. The greatness is in us. There is greatness within us. So we come into the earth planet to manifest this greatness and to become who we already are, which is God Almighty himself. We are God Almighty because he is in each and every of his creation. That's what makes us special. I'm sure you must have seen my motivation. From time to time, I tell you, you are special, brothers and sisters. We are all special, special because there is God in us. He is inside us and he is us. And now the, he told me that the reason why he is reminding us that we are him, we are special, there is greatness in us, is so that we will know that he's already inside us and that he allows us to manifest our greatness, to manifest who we are, to manifest our gift, to build our world in our image. Because once we know this, our life will no longer be the same. Once we know it, our life will be transformed and we will lose all fears. We will no longer be a failure. We will see ourselves as unstoppable. We will become indestructible. We become limitless. We become everything that we are meant to become on Earth planet. And thus, we are able to reach our destination, which is our destiny. So, my point is this. You are God. What it means is that you are, it means what it means. It means literally that you are God of your world. You are the God of your universe. You are the God of your family. You are the God of who you become in this world. You are that authority, the one that decides, the builder. You are the foundation. You are the rock. You are the one that you have been waiting for. It is you that influence your world. And how is it done? You do this through your imagination, through your thoughts, <clears throat> through the things you absorb inside yourself. You know, so you need to be careful what you think about. You need to be careful through, careful uh, uh, of what you feel. Because the feeling is the secret. The feeling is very important. It's not just about imagining it, thinking it. But if you feel it and believe it and accept it, it must come. It must come to you. It must harden into fact. It must manifest anything, even if it's lies, even if it's evil, even if it's good, whether it's just or not just. If you feel it, if you think it, imagine it, want it, and accept it, you believe it and accept it completely as fact, it will come. It will come to you. That's why it's very important for you to only think of good. Do good, feel good. Imagine good for yourself. Imagine good for others. Imagine good for everybody. Imagine good for the whole universe. Because we build our world in our image. This image is imagining, imagination. Everything you conceive and believe and accept, you become. So basically, when you believe that you are bad or you are evil or you are a failure or that you are not great, very soon you will manifest it. When you believe that you are kind, you are good, you are great, you are unstoppable, that you are God you are, or you are the image of God or that you are one with God or that you are in control and in charge of what happens in your life. And you believe this and act on it and try to be careful and behave well and do only good. Imagine only good. And even when you create things, you create only good things that will benefit you and benefit the world. Very soon, your life will be changed. And the only good will happen. You become famous. You become successful. You become lucky. People will say, oh, he's lucky. He's blessed. Because you have come into your power. When you believe that you are God and know that you are God, your life will never be the same. You become unstoppable. You become limitless. You become creative like God. You become a co-creator. So what God is telling you, why it's important for you to know 
that you are God and believe it and accept it. It's not just be, so you can go around and shout, I'm God, I'm God, or feel I'm God, I'm God. Okay, so automatically all is well. No, it's so that you will be careful of what you consume, your mental diet. You know what it means? What it means is that you should always think of good. When I say consumption, it's not food. It's not the food that people eat. That's not the food, the most important food. The most important food is the idea, the imagination, the feeling that people feel, and their conviction about what styles their life or what influences their life. That is what is the secret. That is what builds your world, what you are taking in. <clears throat> we call it mental diet. That's what determines what will happen in your world. Because whatever you imagine, whatever you believe, whatever you conceive in your imagination, and you believe it in your mind, in your heart, you feel it in your heart, and you accept it as fact, as that it has already happened and it must happen to you, that's exactly what you put out. That's what will start happening. It will influence your world. And, you know? So basically, negative people, they attract negativity. And they manifest negativity because they spend most of their time thinking of negative and blaming everybody else and not looking deep inside themselves to find happiness. So why positive people, they see everybody as, well, everybody's going through what I'm going through. No need to blame anyone. Let me just look at myself. They use uh, um, everything at their disposal to look into themselves and try to find ways to improve themselves every day, every second, every minute. All their life, they spend time improving. Decorating their life, cleaning and clearing out, decluttering. That's what everybody should do. Declutter your space, declutter your mind. Free it, free space, just as you free your phone from time to time, your computer. The way you clean it, you should clean your mind, clean your world, and then allow good ideas to come in. Conceive good ideas yourself because it's, the power is there, it's inside you for you to conceive good idea. And whatever you conceive and believe, that's exactly what you put out. And that's what we manifest in your life. So I encourage you from this very day that you should make sure that what you eat, your mental diet, what you absorb, even things you watch in different medias and all the rest, things that people say to you and the way they behave and all the rest, the way you see it and the way you react to it, the way you absorb it, you have to be careful. Filter it. Take only what you need and what you desire, what is important to you, what is useful to you. Accept only good for yourself. Believe only good and think good for you, for others, and for all of God's creation and for God himself. Believe that you're one with God. If you believe that you're one with God, you will no longer see God as not his, non-existent or that he disappointed you. You'll no longer be angry. You'll no longer be sad. You'll be happy to be alive. You'll be happy to be in charge, to know that you're in charge of your life. You're in charge of your destiny, that you can change your destiny. No matter how the circumstances is, you can actually alter your reality. You can alter and change your uh, circumstances. You will never be depressed or limited or feel uh, that you, sh you are stuck because of a, a current situation because you know as God that you can change that situation. All things are possible. This is what our Lord Jesus Christ told us. He says all things are possible to those that believe. Because when you believe that you are God, and that you are the God of your world, your God of your universe, automatically you realize that all the, the things, bad situations that are happening to you now, all the things that are wanted in your life, that you can actually change them by changing your mental diet and changing your attitude, the way you behave. So what I'm saying is this. The reason why God asked me to tell myself and you, you all of you, that you are God is so that you will know that you are good enough, that you are one with him. There is no difference between you and him and that you have always and you have the power to change and cre to create your reality and to change your reality. Once you know this, it will influence you, encourage you, and make you to be a better person. It will remove fear from your body. It will help you to achieve whatever you want to achieve. It will stop every self-doubt and self help It will bring you out from self-imposed limitations and hellish living. It will make you to focus and become who you are here on earth to become. And once you lose this fear and welcome the godhood, your godhood, and 
know and accept and believe that you are in charge of your own life, automatically, you will just go home, which is inside you, and you will go and clean yourself out. You will decluster your space. You will free some hard disk. You will free your personal phones and computer and your spaces. You will now make room. As you have freed it, you make room and you will eat new thoughts, new imaginings, which are favorable to you and to your circumstances and to your condition. You will realize that you have authority and power to change your world and to rebuild it. You will know that you are God. It will make you to become humble and kind, to make you to be so happy. And happiness brings with it many open doors and possibilities and opportunities. From that moment that you become, that you accept that you are God and you are God to your circumstances, you are God to all your situation and your life, and you accept it and believe it, automatically you will find peace and joy. And then your search ends because you will spend more time improving yourself. You spend more time building yourself than spending more time trying to destroy others or trying to uh, be, uh, blame others for your circumstances. You will start to change your circumstances, your reality, and you start to manifest that godhood. And people will call you lucky. People will respect you. And everything will fall into place. I'm so grateful that you had time to listen to this motivation. I'm grateful to those of you who already believe that they are God, that they are one with the universe, they are one with everything, and they, those who have accepted this fact and who have started this journey already. Many of you are already manifesting your Godhood and everything in your life is perfect. I thank those of you who have learned to feed themselves healthy mental diet and who have learned to no longer blame the world for whatever is happening within them, but to go inside, love themselves, be happy with their circumstances, and learn how to transform any of those circumstances into beauty, into love, into happiness, into productivity. Those who have learned how to turn adversity into greatness. I salute all of you, and I thank you for listening to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching.